morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world, and thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK, I'll be your caster and cameraman for today, and today we have another King and Furnace Cup. We are going to have YBG against Ewin, and YBG is going to be playing home and away on their home server first. Ewin will be going on their away. Ewin is definitely a little bit of the higher rank team, but... YBG has been playing for quite a few years together, Keyboard Warrior members, they've also played on some other squads, South Stars and whatnot, so they are no no stranger to the community, they've been playing it for quite a few years, and now they have a little bit of a battle here, playing against the second place team from RBT7. <clears throat> And here we go live into the first half of this tournament match. And it is going to be YBG. They try to go right away for a charge. Not going to land. They get the Hunter. Smoker Boomer cleared off pretty quickly. Minimal damage against you and that they're going to be able to get through the building and pass that car alarm. And as soon as they are finished, I'll check out the ping, see if we can get them located on this server or not. We're gonna have for you in Akaru, VDK, Rake, and Antexpril. And then for the other side, we have Zerk, Exxon, Kiao, and Sushi for YBG. And here comes another attack. It's gonna be a side cap with Smith. The Hunter comes around the corner. Jockey gets melted. Hunter gets killed. Charge Spit will land. Let's get out of the go. And a decent damage coming out there from YGB. And Yuin will continue. Tank's gonna be at 45%. No more attacks before tank, and the survivor is 100 HP. They're all four punches. Kauru right, is one hit away from being free, as Zerg will have the first tank of the game for his team. As he goes back Watch to get out. the toys, for Clift incoming. And Buck says he takes him to life. is repositioning. It looks like Ewan's gonna go into this very healthy with 91.5%. Tank's peeking. Getting some rage. They're finally shooting him up a little bit. Because it's pretty much doing no damage. He has just lost 200 HP. Now he is just... Okay, we're gonna go in. Oh my gosh! What an attack coming out! It is a tri-cap! And he's going to get the rock too. What a huge attack coming out from YGB. Massive percentage of damage. They are over 20% as Zerg is going to try to peek. He's going to sacrifice some HP for this. But wow, what an attack as he is transitioning to a better position. Losing a lot of HP though. He's already down 500 points. We're going to sack Boomer. But what a triple charge coming into a rolling tri-cap. Bad the tank was not close to there, he probably would have wanted to commit on that. <laughs> Ooh, keep tight. Not coming, not gonna land. We're gonna send it again. Charger is another double charge! No slams this time, and no rock. They do get more damage, adding an additional couple percentages onto it. They've been below 60 now. And now YGB is going to have to commit this tank. They can't really play this much longer. He is second pass, 85% frustration. And indeed, he is transitioning over to get a better route of commit. The danger of going AI. They're getting a little too aggressive here. Oh, he's going to be able to split them. They can't run back now. He has them corralled. He does put them three and one. There's his pull. He'll take the corner. The boomer will get one. Gets a second punch on the coach. That's all DB, by the way. There's the in cap. 2400 HP. He's going to decommit. Going to probably guard this in cap for a little while. There's nothing they really can do to get this. But if he doesn't land a rock, he is going to go AI. Almost gets the rock underneath. Zerk taking the damage but not holding on to the tank. Now it goes 
Tank. Ah. And no rock coming out. Hunter will die off. Smoke is probably just going to delay this pickup. Oh, but you is going to live. Fine. Come on, come on. You're going to have decent bonus. 38%. Really? It's all point. Uh, oh, wait, wait, actually, no. no I can't believe how much is still DB. I thought for shotgun. sure it would be much lower Feels than that. 33% is health bonus, which is kind of mind blowing considering how healthy they are. Right. Most of it's DB, so we should see the focus on the coach. That would be the good play coming Reloading. out from the special infected. No wipe goes out, but great damage nonetheless from y from YGB on the U win. Reloading. Now the hit on the transition in, and U win's taking this cautiously. They are bleeding. This is they lay the two cap on the back. They're kind of stuck in the spit. He can't get out of it. He has to run back through it. And he doesn't see the spitter. It gets the boomer though. They landed two boomers. It's gonna stay alive. Almost 10%, not quite, but they're going to be crawling. Akaru is slow. So they'll be rewarded with maybe a hit or two before. No spit block either. Interesting. Gonna save spawn. No car alarm attempt either. Reloading! Try cap spit. <laughs> and a rolling two cap that comes in. And another double charge. But it does get cleared. The damage isn't gonna go fully out. Reloading. Shut up, Nora, and shout out to Noro. Hey, I'm reloading. See you there, brother. Taking reloading. a break is completely un understandable. Reloading. You guys grinded for quite some time for RB uh, RB T7. Oh, a up? lot of streaming goes on during those events. Actually, one for like RBT, a very, very big event. So. Reloading. Taking a break, sitting on the bird back burner for a little while. Two cap does go out, but two, but two, the two cap was on the same survivor. So YBG is not going to be able to wipe out you and and you is going to crawl into safer with a couple hundred points. Reloading. Okay, Reloading. 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 And safe room is made. And they'll put up 576 points on their away game. This is some bullshit. To a lot of people that don't realize the uh, the time frame that comes into some of these people that play this game. Well, he wasn't doing a very and good job. They play the game purely because they love he? it, because the cash prize true, true, is exactly the highest zombie, for these tournaments. But they enjoy the game. Pilot. There's nothing like it. Man, no other video shit. game is like Left 4 Dead 2. Right nothing is close. Man, shoot, Nick. And Back for Blood Anyone is not. Know where we are? Not even close. I would say if there's anyone, it would be the Alien game that's. Arcadius or whatever it is, it's kind of the closest, but that is just completely forgotten by the developers. Um, Vermintide 2 has good opportunity for their verses to have something be great like this, but there is nothing like it. Exactly like Nurdo said, not even close. But yeah, the t like I said, the times it takes to scrim on these, I mean, a game is probably an hour and you want to be the best at your ability to play in scrim, so you're playing almost every day of the week. Probably one or two matches, giving up two hours a day for it. Cons are going in. Hunter, not able to find a target, neither is the Charger. Hunter finally finds a target, but everything gets cleaned up with the exact same damage. Actually, more damage goes out onto White BG than you win. And Backer Blood is still around, but nobody plays it. <laughs> Reloading. The developers made it very clear that they don't care about I'm any of the uh, high tier players of Left 4 Dead. They don't care at all about them whatsoever. As I shout out to Sir Please for trying to push that. Three minutes very, very often. And look at that shutdown. Right now, YBG on their home server is saying, Nada. Just that Hunter landed for a little brief moment. As they take a shortcut over that. And go around the spit. And they will be able to get the tank up. First tank of the game for you win. 
into the hands of Antextral. A little early, but there he is. Smoker goes out. Charger goes out. Charger misses. Smoker does not. Boomer comes in late, but gets popped. Rock! Oh my gosh, that was so close. And Textral almost lands the rock. and knock it his forklift into better positions. No reason to knock it out. Okay, here it comes. And that is kind of in play. So that's going to cause YBG to say, screw this, we're going back. We're going to retreat back to the safe room area. And Textual is going to be in hot pursuit. He's still in control of his first pass and only lost 12 HP. So there is no danger of losing anything here. They do also have a... Char oh, never mind, they killed it off. Charger is dead. Forklift is incoming. Oh, and there is his forklift. He loses it as it gets dumped into the water. YBG has seen it, and now they might be a little aggressive for some chip. Shooting that tank down. Good attack coming in. Boomer doesn't land, though. Rock doesn't land either, so it's going to be a tri cap when they roll in with. gonna come in and okay this is it he's got to commit now he has his try cap slightly chip with hunter though get him down to five k at the beginning back it up focus the si jockey is dead now they back up smoker misses he's going for the car at 3100 pops it up off the ball you're unsuccessful I'm flying through. Blitz the survivors two and two. There's a pull. Oh, he killed the hunter with the car. And he's going to get death punched. Can they save him? Can they saved him. Oh my gosh, you cannot script that anymore. Insane. The smoker saves the guy from being death punched. Kyo sweating bullets. But they will live. Crazy. What an intense tank fight and a phenomenal take by YBG. And if they could walk into the safe room with this, it would be huge. Keeping about that 600 point delta. Probably went about seven, Taking but since the, the other survivor made, made the safe room. Right now, YBG has to perform on home because already Ewan is performing on away by making a safe room. So all these points mean even more. Boomer. Abs Rochelle. Exxon does get boomed on. Boomer retreats back to the non chippable The Charger just M1. They'll kill both. Bitter misses. Jockey's dead. Squad sack. And no damage comes out there. Clean take by YBG. And they will be able to get transitioned on the inside of the building and probably take this quad either on the outside of the Hirsch building. Don't see a reloading, scenario reloading. where they take it on the inside, especially because they have a quad. I think it's staying here. We'll come out here. This is probably where it's gonna go. Reload. Weapons here. Yeah, for sure. YBG was bailed out by the smokers. Reload. Hunter pre-spawn up above. All right, they are out. Here it goes, quad attempt incoming. They're gonna land the charge only. The smoker will come in at the end. And they will get a couple things of percentages, but they still have 80% and they'll be able to navigate through the street. Probably all the way to the end. Hey, I'm 2 incoming, probably not going to be great damage opportunity for you in either. They do have a Charger Hunter. No smoker though to alley -oop. Boomer's just going to proxy on the two. They're going to full send right away. Hunter coming in, land. 
it's gonna be successful. Charger gets melted. They'll get about 2% of it, and YBG putting up impressive score on their home server. Almost 700 points. It is going to be 1192 for them. Impressive showing so far, and a great home server score. 520 points. But it's really hard to say. with the camera here. Everybody knows the camera is defaulting on me. Moving so fast. Early tank compared to map one. Look at this, 27%. Ooh, this is going to be probably fought backwards in the safe room area. Dumpsters are going to come flying in. This is going to be interesting. Question mark and you and um, a lot of them are friends within e e each other. They uh, sometimes play on the same team together. Sometimes just two of them. Pop Knock has some of the uh, te teams that play with them as well. And Tex is on it. Uh, uh, and Tex, I know, plays with them a couple times. Seen you know, playing with um, Ascendant. Some of the members from there. Lion plays with them. So they're all good friends in the same area, and they uh, do play with each other. Zenix is one of them as well. good to see them kind of mix up. It gives a lot more options for the L4D community, too, to watch more games. I understand, Noro. It's just it's just awesome that um, there's a large community in certain, er in certain areas that always kind of mix teams and play with each other, and maybe there is certain reasons why they are separated, but it's just nice to see that group of pool of people together that kind of mix and to put a team together at any time, even if some others can't play. So it's good to have those uh, abilities, to have that. In my opinion. Hola, como estas? No, I prefer English, but I do speak a little bit of Spanish. Not much, though, to be honest. As their fourth has returned. Ah, Chris, thank you, my friend. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Very match along the way, home and away, just for those that are aware of. YGB won their home server, obviously, but Ewan did make safe room, which is very impressive. Teams win games because they win the away game, not because they win the home. It's more on your production on the away, in my opinion. Roger Hunter, Jockey, Spitter, great opening spawns, and... And they are going to hold the entire thing for the choke point up ahead. Hmm. I mean, the spawns are phenomenal for this hit. I can't deny Reloading. it. It's not a bad call. But I wonder if that tank's going to spawn before that hit. But man, they are going to... No, son, this is two games. It's home and away. Am I bad? I should put a... You know, what server it is. There we go. The bad guys. There we go. One of two. I'll straighten it out Reloading. next hit. I know it's a little off center right now, but let's get this first one in the book. There we go. Now we're good. They're taking their time, so I had time to pick Reloading. Two. I was 
so used to all the neutral games in here that I forgot that Home and Away was a thing. <laughs> but man, look at the patience from you and wanting to hold all the spawns up to the other side of this. Ammo here. If it pays off for them, they need double digit output. They're waiting. Nothing is chipped. On shotgun right now is sushi. And sushi dice them up. Oh, he goes around. The ski comes out. The charger does not land. And YGB shutting down you, and the hunter gets picked out. Unfortunate for Akaru getting picked out there, leaving the jockey to come in for a scratch, and they get six points from that choke point. Heads up! And good take from YBG. Noro's taking a break, a much deserved break. Massive grind from RB7 is real. And Noro can vouch for that. The hours that he has grinded playing the scrims for RBT7. Charger gets some damage though. And he needed to get some there as this tank is in hot pursuit. Hakaru not able to capitalize. Instead gonna bring a car up. That's gonna be an extra one in play. He's also gonna have two dumpsters. Jockey! Jockey! Yes, you win is second place. They are the second place of RBT7. And that's nothing to sneeze at. They were on top of the mountain with the quarry fighting out for the championship. And not deny what they have done. Knocking a quarry down to the loser bracket as well. And a quarry fought their way back. But for now, it's going to be Hakaru trying to do it for his team in the King and Furnace Cup, and they're going to have four hittables in play, it would seem, for him to bring in. This is a good job from Hakaru. And alright, so he has two dumpsters, two cars, maybe a third one up top. I don't remember if that's one's hittable. YGB, YBG is taking this very cautious. It looks like this is where it's going to be fought at. Whoa, that's big. He has hittables corralling the survivors. And they're going to rotate forward on him. I don't remember if this car is hittable. Or it is not. The charger is going to miss. He's going to get his corner. The hunter will get clear. Second punch goes out. Third punch goes out. Fourth punch goes out. And he gets an in cap and a pretty standard tank fight coming out there. All the survivors are going to remain above 35 except for Exxon's going to get in cap. And he will be the DB focus. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I forgot to do pings. And we don't have pings. So I couldn't tell you if, even if I wanted to. Here we go, the same circumstances again, except just no charger. Hunter gets shut down. Bitter gets no bank shot. Now it's all in a death order, just dying in the proper fashion. Boomer gets him. They get some damage out of it. They'll still get through with 71.4%. And right now, Coach is being the focus down. They get 5% from that DB on that hit. So Coach looks like he's going to be the main target for the SI. But sitting in that yummy DB being protected. That's 35% of whatever 1400 is. I believe that's 1350. Actually, no, a little more than that, probably. 350, I mean. 
think it's actually more. That would be 25%. I GB taking this cautiously. New endo? Reloading! We're trying to get a pull forward. Hunter and Charger are going to look to try to assist. Knock on cover in the back. Move the Charger. Hunter does get skeeted. They get some damage on the coach, though. More DB going out. Another 6% onto the DB. That would be about it. And he has chosen not to pop his pills yet. Okay, now he does. He'll probably grab another set that's in there. And no, they don't. Okay, there is no pills. And they push. Oh, I'll take the shotgun. Up the stairs. Cat comes in. Charger misses. Hunter lands. Boomer. Boomer gets a quad boom. As the jockey latches on, they'll just get a couple things here and there. But YGB is able to push through. Gotta reload. About to start this event, and this event is rough, if, especially if you're on high ping. But YGB will get the advantage on low ping for this event as they take the corner quickly and start gunning it down this little alley. Eat. Oh. Big delay is all they got. Quad attempt coming in. I think that was the back. One survivor is taking off. Probably going to turn the button off. Grabs an extra set of pills. And... Coach is in. Fawns are up. And Coach is able to get back out before somebody grabs them. Actually, they are able to get in before they get hit. Which is questionable because they have a charger. And they are just going, no hesitation whatsoever. Jockey Hunter in the back, Charger looking for a spawn in the front, and they take the whole building, and Ewan doesn't even get a hit as they scramble for spawns right now. And they're about to go in, Charger Rockets, they get the charge spit, and they will get a two cap in the spit, the damage is huge. That was the first massive amount of damage going out on the YBG from Ewin as they pass the pills, about to pop, they want to be fast. Zerk fails the jump, trying to get through this alley as fast as they can. They might be able to get inside before spawns are ready. But Zerk was a little slow and it might ruin it for the team, let's see if they get in. No, they can't. Smoker comes and gets them. It allows them to attack, the Charger will miss. The Hunter finds a target to clean up the quick. Like nothing ever happened. As the boomer gets Zerk. He's still caught down there away from his team. And it looks like 40% is going to be what they get with on a very long chapter to run through as well. Arms set off. Airwells are running. I don't know if they'll be able to get down there fast enough. No, they won't. They're going to have to chase. They're not even going to get it. And what impressive feat by YBG making safe room with 640 bonus. Well, 636 to be exact, but look at that. 5%. Reloading. 
Watch out! Ammo here. All right, choke point coming up on the inside. Now you win. Has favorable spawns to deal with in here. They don't have the Charger, Jockey, Hunter, and Spitter. They're only going to have the Hunter and Spitter. Oaker and Boomer aren't going to do anything here. They get the pull out, but the Hunter goes from the back. They get the pounce bit. And they'll get a couple more dings, but they'll be able to get the tank up with less than 10% damage for sure. Here is Kyo's tank. We have guns here. Charger, Charger lands. It's gonna happen. Ogre is still going out right now. That's a lot of damage going out on the Nick Hikaru. Hitables are in. into play but not cooperating as they are retreating back around the outside all right chat we'll deal with that not gonna have none of that in here i'm gonna attack other viewers just gonna ban you That's how it goes car is in play you win in a good spot. Oh, the car's not gonna favor, not gonna hit anybody on top of that. And right now, Kyo's caught out here. You win is destroying Kyo right now. They're so focused on this hitable. The jockey latches, but he gets cleared. He missed the punch. The charge lands. Gets the rock though. Misses the punch there, and this is gonna be nothing coming out really. Another rock, and this is a dead tank coming out from Kyo. I'm a reload. He pushes on. You win. In very good shape right now, post tank. 61.8% bonus. Huge for his team. Huge. And they're even able to push through the gas station. Spawns are blocked. I hear one of those little things. Jockey tries to come in to delay it. They're just gonna send everything. And it's going to be a quad sack coming out. And we should see this hit. Ooh, I'm trying to think where the best place to send this is. I don't think they're going to wait for the event. They're probably going to hit and sack again and then try. Reloading. Transition up onto the railings. Reloading. Pushing through quickly, and there is no spot for the quad in here. It's going to be difficult, but they're going to try to send it here. Okay, they're going to just full send, I guess. There they go. They'll get a try cap. And a lot of damage does go out, but they will survive. And Ellis gets reset more than anything. And that's going to allow them to kind of sack for a quad again during the event. Look how far back Ellis has to go due to that reset. Reloading. I think he was on top of the railing, and now they have spawned in the exact same area. All right, probably see Boomer Spitter go for sure. Charger goes. There's the charge spit, but the spit was not successful. And it won't take much to that. They still have 594 points on them. Hakaru will eat their last set of pills. They're going to be fast for a little bit longer, but I got to admit right now, you and looking pretty good with this bonus, even getting through the stairwell choke. Either way, they're not going to hit there. Karu gets the pills now, but Akaru looks like he wants to go down. That is going to crack into the DB an additional 5%. Though. That's the only downside to that, but it doesn't matter. They want the extra points. They want to be fast, and Textral is now slow. And here comes the quad attempt. 
Remember you went about 1400 points, for, uh, 700 points per chapter, and landing a quad here will give YGB that average. with this quad. They really want to send this when they want to. One, one infected is not even on the top yet. They've gone a long distance without a hit. And here it goes. Oh, the hunter can't clean it up. It's going to be a tri-cap. They will not wipe out. The hunter is late. They will pretty much exhaust almost everything except DB now, though. So the, damp the attack was phenomenal. But they will survive. The distance is all they really want at this point, I would say. They get a second in cap. Over delaying it. Here comes the Spitzele. Boomer, Proxy, and they're going to send another quad. It might actually even delay that. No, he can't, he won't be able to delay this. Come on, come on, on your feet. Yeah. Oh, he gets a double charge, and another person goes down. Okay, never mind. It does work out. The DB is actually just getting deleted in the same spot. All the way down to single digits. Percentages. The long charge works out extremely well. The only bad part is they'll get a tri-cap with Boomer. Or Spitter, one of the two. I'm not quite sure what they're going to get. And it's going to be Spit. And they're not hesitating, they're sending. Hunter comes in, Jockey comes in. Oh, they get the pounce of the spit, and that's the one that pops the pills. He loses it all, and he gets pulled forward. And it's another in cap. All the pills gets munched away by the smoker pull. Another in cap goes out, and it looks like it's going to be the beginning of the end for you win. Boomer's coming in. Foxy on the bottom one. Spitzelay comes in. Charger will miss. And just the commons on the away are so hard to deal with. YBG showing up right now. They're doing a great job. Both sides, but they're going to have to perform on the away. Because Ewan is not dying. All right, they get a death. Hunter gets more scratches. And it looks like they're just going to push and try to get these dinky points. Because I don't see a pickup happening. They turn it off. Lights go out. As the points stagger upward. It's delay, and this is probably going to be the end for these two. Boomer grabs one. Charger misses. And there it is, the wipeout. You win. A couple of points, 466, down 1400. Hmm, everything does get reset every chapter. Interesting. As we go into the next chapter, we're going to see a complete opposite. This tank is going to be crazy late. This is going to be right by where the car alarm is. But alright, YGB continues on. 
so far an impressive survivor run. I Looks like they're going to average close to 5k if they're able to keep it, but Finale is going to be a difficult one to hold points on. Nice key coming out there. Back order was the focus. Smoker pull. Good try. Not going to get anybody in that spit. And a pretty clean take. Just a couple chips of damage. BDK got some damage. I'm a reload. So there's another teammate. Not quite sure which one that is. Got tagged up. Hey, I'm reload. Reloading. Look out. Reload. Reloading. <laughs> Eric pushing in. I'm gonna save for the death charge possibility. Yeah, they're already outside, so they're gonna take this cautious just in case, but I don't think. Yeah, they don't want that. The only bad part is they don't have a smoker. This might just be damage. It might not even be a death charge possibility. With a high ping, they might just wanna take the guaranteed damage, which I can't really disagree with. <laughs> Can I make a noise? See you there and all. Give me one second, I'll check. Come. Charge, go get the charge spit. That's all they want. And the slam. That's even more bonus. As Axon is gonna be wrecked by that, going all the way down to 48. Great attack from you and focusing damage. Event is almost over, but spawns are ready to go. Uh, try cap with Boomer. No charger. Boomer just goes in for a kill. 2 two incoming. No DP. Wait, what? Rocky gets some damage, but I think the hunter might have landed on the fence instead of getting the DP. That was so close. It almost looked like the survivor hit him with an M2 and just stopped it. But that is not possible on zone mod. Thank God, by the way. m 2 hunters out of the air is really stupid, in my opinion. Next door tags up. And who is that? Scott. <laughs> we got a hunter. You got Melted a SI. No charger. No hunter land. Respit nada. And YGB are clear. Here. They're going to be able to press on. Oh. Sushi takes a little bit of fall damage, does not jump off correctly. Mid block splits the survivors two and two. Now what are they gonna do with the SI? They're not just gonna wait. It's a good spit block. They're not gonna throw away their spawns yet. And they have a survivor separated. The hunter can't find him. The smoker can't. The jockey can't. The hardest infected is able to find a target, and the easier ones can't. Now we sit here and wait. They might actually retreat this back out in the open. This is not a good place to take this. And they are going to do so. And YGB looks like they're going to be able to hold 80% of the tank on a very long map. Not worth a ton of points for how long it is. Only 600 distance. Reloading! Here comes the damage. Oh, Hunter! Charger lands! They get the pounce! The charge spit, and that will dip them under 80%. That is awesome for you, and they'll be very, very content with that. 77.2 to be exact, almost a quarter HP. Tank is not in play yet either, and they're going to have to spawn this tank and retreat backwards. I don't see a situation where they can go forward. I mean, they can. I don't even know where to put this camera. 
run back or run forward. What are they going to do? And it's a retreat for sure. No quad attempt though. So they're going to hit on the back once Charger comes in. Gets it one charge. He's in. Oh, and he has to retreat. Oh, that was a good cutoff, but Rate is not able to make it work. Shoot the damn tank! He wanted to get up there to see if he gets somebody inside, and he has to decommit. And he just decommits wisely to bring cars in play. And interesting, YGB chooses to stay here, I think because there's no hittable po possibilities. They'll have favorable SI spawns, though, by staying here. That's the only downside to the survivors. There's rocket spawns around everywhere. Boomer does die off. Ray's gonna have to commit without everybody up. Let's see what that spawn timer comes at. At 15 seconds, he only has 11 seconds of control left, and it's dropping fast. He's down to five, four. He's got sight, and he is in. Commit, still a couple seconds out from Intextral having to spawn. He's gonna pick Zerk the corner. He misses. He misses yet again. He's getting juked. He gets a punch there. The Charger lands. Charger gets cleared. Hunter coming. Hunter gets skeet. Jockey gets shut down. His support is nothing. No rock. And YGB will hold on to about 50% of their DB or their bonus total. We good. I need some real first aid. And good take by YGB right now. Doing an impressive job on their survivor side. Holding on to half their points on a very long map as they transition on the outside. They kill off the smoker. Or no, they don't. Smoker respawn. They'll get some damage there. They dip it under 50. Charger gets a punch. And now they're just desperate for whatever ticks they can get. And now they're going to be able to round the corner and probably walk in with 600 plus on top of the 700 distance. Be shy of, a bit shy of 4K. They put him at 3600. They stop here. They don't have to. They can just run right in, and they're in. Abram is made. 3,648 points coming in. Rematch. Hola, como estas, yeah? Nosotros. You gotta pull in the spit. Oh my gosh, the damage! It's huge, the spit! They're swimming in it! 17%! Massive damage coming out! Huge! I mean, crazy! 78.9 left. Great hit. Shout out to Adam. What's going on, my friend? Welcome. Spawns in between, but spawns are not up. They do have a tri cap with spit. Best hit in the game minus the quad, but let's see. What are they going to do? Are they going to send in? Charger splits the survivor. Spit does not land. It won't get much. YGB was Keyboard Warriors, by the way. All the people that are playing in there, except for Sushi, I believe, was on Keyboard Warriors. Reload. As you would able to navigate on the outside. 77% bonus left. And Hunter lands is in rolling tri cap. The jockey's going for a ride. No death jock, though. He doesn't angle it properly. That is a death jockey possibility, but I don't think he angled it right. Reloading! Reloading! And yeah, but also keyboard warriors came back out of retirement, so they, they got some scrimming in, and they're getting back into the groove. Takes a little bit of time Watch out. to ask any players that have played. Oh my gosh, that was a death charge, but he didn't angle it right. Yo! He's probably not happy with that. Let's get out of here! Some 
free spin damage goes on to Hakaru. Bro, that depth charge was so close. Door is open. 50% left. As they're going for a higher spawn, loses a couple of his HP for it. Here he goes up. He gets the DP. The Charger misses. Jockey's going for a ride. The damage is tallying up like crazy. And it's going to be an in cap onto BDK. And that was damage bonus. There's two survivors down, actually. No infected to capitalize on it though. They'll be able to get the pickup. Hey, I'm reloading. Go. Oh, you guys are gonna miss me. Yeah, you tell me. You good? Yeah, two death. It was a death shock and a death charge miss. A death pull probably would have been cleared anyways, but <coughs> still, that was a death pull possibility. We might need these. Fine pills. Better. They will not be fast all for this tank. Hunter does get skeeted. Beautiful Ooh, shutdown coming out from VDK. Boomer pop. Nothing is going to be successful there at all. And now it's going to be horde time. And they are going to wait this out. And they're not. Okay, they just sack smoker. Smoker's useless, but. Man. Ewan wants to push the issue here. I tell you what. If they send all their spawns and they're able to shut it down, like right now. Okay, they went for the pills. I like the play. I take it back. Thought they were being a little aggressive. They knew what they were doing. They do have pills now for Antextral. But everybody's bleeding except for Antextral Rake. And they're going to go for more damage. The Charger lands. Hunter will get skeeted. Jockey can't find anything. They just get a ding here and there. Never won't mean anything to be honest. Commons will come in. And the question is, where are they going to take this? And they are just clearing out the commons, being very cautious. And now it looks like. If YGB hits, they're going to push forward into the street and take it there, which probably might be their best bet. Because running back is going to be a little hard for them. And the hit's coming. Hunter will go. But that's the tank. They're going to hold everything. And they get a pull. Back to her swimming in the spit. Oh, the tank is a double punch up the ladder. And he is not hesitation hesitating. Sushi. They get three people in capped instantly, and Antextral has a chance to make a run for it, and he's gonna try. And he might be able to do it. He might make it. Antextral, hot pursuit of the tank. And the jockey, oh, he gets up, dude. He's gonna make it. Antextral's in the safe room, and he's gonna get the distance points for his team. And right now, Sushi. Needs to retreat. Right, Sushi needs to retreat here and go back and make sure he doesn't lose this tank. They'll get the distance points if he loses this tank. Sushi?
jockey. Almost there. Yeah, it definitely was. I was sending a message. Thank you for the reminding me. If I talk to myself privately for a little bit. Getting the strats into the caster, you know. Just gotta get it in. Hunter pre spawned up ahead. The triple team on Sushi earlier. A lot of scratches for not a spitter. But thank you, Ro. Halfway Ro. And here we go. Hunter finds the target. Jockey finds nothing. The charger gets some stumbles. You get a couple dings here and there. I mean, for two hits, it's almost 10%. It's not terrible. Fine extra kills. We're going to skip over it. Sushi not, doesn't have time for it. That's one set of pills already found and passed. They are holding W through these choke points. Skeet on the stairs. Nothing's going to land. Oh, the stumble and the spit, though, onto Rochelle. <laughs> Sushi not having good luck right now with the damage. All of it's focused on him. And YGB holding the pace for this very impressively. Coming up at about halfway through the map. Ammo grab for everybody. I guess I'll hey, look out. Is machine gun. We got down, is, what, what kind of sushi is sushi? Eel salmon. Something different. Fish. Dark in here, I can't see. Charger comes in. No stumbles in the spit. But the, the hunter lands. I mean, they're not clearing it. And again, it, good damage coming out onto YBG there. That's a lot, actually. Down to 78.1. And now it's a death charge possibility. Can they get past these choke points before they get the spawns up? And they'll get by. Charger will have a chance. I don't know if they're going to go for it. They have a smoker pull in the back. Charger's looking for a try. There's a smoker pull! Oh, there was a death charge, but he doesn't take it. They're going to guarantee the damage. I thought that would have been a death charge. I don't know how close that would have been. And VDK has the final tank on the away game for their team. There's a, there is an AI spitter lurking. Uh, it dies off. Doesn't even try to do anything for the team. Ooh, a double boom. And he's rolling in. He's rolling in with it. He gets his first punch on the Kiao. Second punch on the Kiao. Oh, they're working him pretty hard. The commons are in, though. He's almost dead. The support. Hunter misses. He's got his corner. He's getting doubles. YGB throws away all of their points. Let's get you back on your feet. Oh my gosh, you win with a huge play right here. Could that be the turn of events that change everything? I think it really hurts something. The only points they have are DB. There's nothing left except for the sliver on Exxon. Come on. Nothing from the charge spit. Boomer Smoker just gonna die off here for a good sack order. The boomer was huge for you win as YGB will have to sacrifice almost 60% of her points due to the tank commit. And 
suddenly the distance is becoming questionable as just alone. Now Zerk is black and white. Hey y'all, I need some help. You seriously cannot go down again. All right, now the question. Oh, they got him pills, so that's one good thing for him, and they'll be fast. They give him the drug. He is quick. They still have a couple percentage of points. I, I honestly don't see them holding on to it. As they sack Boomer for a better, better attack. They might just go with three here, depending if they want to try for a death bolt. They're gonna. They go hunt down that that smoker for sure. Spitter is about to be up, and he'll take the drop clean. Actually, it's a quad try, no spit. Right. Where are they going to send it is the question. No shortcut, looks like, from YBG. They don't want to try it. They find more pills. I'm just going to move. He'll get a charge fit. That'll work. Don't know what else will. Jockey's gonna keep. They'll get an in cap, so that'll complete the bonus. That is the rest of it. Now it's only DB. I mean, only pill bonus. And it looks like they're gonna try to hold on to it at this point. Oh, sushi! <laughs> the 25 off of the still the antenna as they get to pick up. The quad boom comes out. Charger coming from behind. Not gonna get anything. And they will be able to survive. Two survivors, black and white. They do want those 35 points. And it looks like they're gonna be able to walk in with it. Spitter gonna try to delay this with a mortar spit. And it does block them. Exxon gets himself in-capped. Hunter trying to delay all he can. Gets killed. And there they will make it. Boomer will land. But YGB will make every safe room with points, just not that much on the finale. They only get 35 additional. Probably going to be 32 to be exact. Yes, it is. And 4,380 points they put up. So the average point delta for you and would uh, for YGB would be 2,800 extra points than you win. And right now they have just about that. I think you win's gonna come out top on the first server, a little bit in their favor as far as home and away points. Charge land, smoker land. Oh, they're all getting scratches. They're all in there. Everybody's getting damaged. Look at all the commons. The common slaps are coming out. Boomer, 91%, 90%. Wow, all the way, almost double digit. It is double digit. And that is just a way common doing their thing. Friendly fire coming out as well. Watch. <laughs> Double charge. Oh, no, that's just a clean shutdown. You in impressive right now. Second attack with the spitter doing nothing. They took all the damage from the non spit hit. Oh, the two cabin. They can get them both up here. Oh they, can't. oh, they get the clear. They're not going to be able to do it. The jockey. Oh, he tries to take him down. They save him. What a save from Ewin. That was close to disaster. They're able to clear through the ground. They close the door on Rochelle. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but it was funny. Rochelle has to open the door. Gone with the 
shot. That was tight there. You and sweating bullets for a second almost lost two survivors before the tank, not allowing them to get the distance. Charge fit's gonna work. Oh, they stumble a minute. Death fit too. Big damage coming out. Do people have to pop pills? More death spit comes out. 64% left. Reloading. Extra pills found. I'll get those pings as soon as this is almost over. I'll let you know what it was. As they're going to get this tank up. This is it. The final tank of the home server for, for YBG. Into the hands of Exxon. Her land. But all the commons spawn in their face and they're already dead. <laughs> Not like it did for YBG. The commons took a little while to get there. It looks sloppy, but here you go. There you go if you want your pings. That's the best I can do. Alright, this is going to be huge for Exxon. He needs to get a wipe here to keep the point delta reasonable. Right now it's in favor for you, and, and if they survive this tank, it'll be even more favor. They have the tri-cap without the smoker. And it looks like he's going to be in any second. And he's through the door. Charger gets the stumble. Instant corner for Hikaru. On the Kakaru. Gets another punch. In cap goes out. Another pounce goes out. Gets a punch. The Charger misses. Looks like it's not going to be a wipe. But he gets a double. Curve rock. Not gonna land. Punch! And he dies off. You win will survive in worse cases oh, than uh, um, come on, come on. YGB was, but the distance is all they need. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Hey, That's all for this now. We have to keep moving. You felt worse Get after a night of drinking. Shout out to Price Soul. Hope everything's going well for you, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you for a lot of help in the translations over the tournament. I'm very grateful. It is good to see you. As they push to the top, you and coming up. Reloading! And they are out and around, but the points are adding up right now. The 700 distance, and they're only 210 shy of getting all of them. They're up. They get the pounce. The spitter's coming. I don't think there's going to be a charger possibility. No, they just go for damage to get another in cap. He is now black and white. Hang on, baby, I'm not gonna let you fall. Gonna be, huh? Reload here. Uh. And the one-way drop smoker stays up here. Oh, and the SI kind of just meh. He didn't have a great hit, so he just kinda of go in for scratches. Bitter, beautiful spit, catches Coach in it. And Textual is 1 HP black and white as they down BDK for the first time. And it is not looking good for and Textual at 1 HP. They're trying to protect them all they can. Oh, the triple charge comes out. 
And this is probably gonna be the wipe. No, Akaru stays alive. But they will lose almost everybody. As the spitter is the only one to try to do anything. Someone help me! The spit! Oh, he gets the down, but he does pick up Rake. And it looks like this is gonna finish the side. Boomer gets M2 and killed off. Oh, I don't think he's gonna be a white. Hunter's probably not able to kill him. But Hunter does land. Hard. I don't mean to be And the self clear. Rake survives a little longer. Oh no, the charger. If yeah, the charger is gonna come clean him up. And that will be it. 4,380 to 2108 onto you in in favor for YGB. All right, and we're not hesitating at all here. Now we're getting into this live. Oh my god. They are already going, no hesitation. The attack's going to go in. The smoker gets a pull in the back. The bitter gets nothing. It is going to be you and on their home server. Nine dollars joining me for the second half after his match. How you doing now? I am doing awesome. I love Skirts. They had a crazy Dice Scraper Redux match against the crew and now headed straight into a possibly even crazier match. You win versus YBG. Two uh, classic teams showing up here. Yes, and YGB won the home server by a couple thousand. I mean, they don't have the, the average. I believe it's... Uh, I, I sent you the score there. I think it's a little bit more than like, 2,000? 2,200? like 2,200, 2,300, yeah. Yeah, so they still have an uphill battle. They have a lot to go, so it's no m by mean in their favor. They have a lot to do on their away server as well as the attack goes in. Nothing is really going to land at all there. No quad attempt gets not a clean take from you in. You win coming out the gate screaming so far. They've got about 5% to bring in the tank. They have taken absolutely no damage at all. Of course, there are hittables to come into play, but they're not the most straightforward hittables, especially if you win runs it all the way back. Interested to see what they go with. Yeah, now YGB made them bleed. They played a long tank here now and did a great job on okay. taking everything away from them. And I think that's the first time that I've ever seen the reflection on the back of the car have the brake lights on the side of the big rig. Look at that. Oh. Well, I've never seen that before. Is that really the first time that it have you ever seen that i've never seen that uh -uh. i'm sitting no. here amused by lights while this guy's bringing his forklift in i have <laughs> never noticed that for sure and well, let's hope that uh the ybg doesn't get caught up in that yeah i mean they just kept their tank right kind of where they're at and just kept sending hits in and they were landing they were okay. getting double digit hits on their on the survivors it was amazing from you from uh ygb's Infected, but looks like he has no choice but to commit. Ooh, that was really close, Naw. That was almost skinning the head of some of those survivors on that retreat. <laughs> yeah, right. He might go AI. Interesting. 15%. Why don't you take it away, Naw? Okay, he's still got vision for now. We do have that charge. Oh my god, is he gonna. Nope, he's chilling. Holding. They are going to allow the tank to come in. 4,400, 4,200, they drop down, already got an SI spawned in back here, survivor's not aware of it yet, they will be now, as they all hop around, charge, barely sidestep, he's got the choice of what he wants, oh, misses them all, and gonna get two smacks, but he is out of there, the tank is dead, no damage, and with that rock missing, it really adds insult to injury there. Yeah, and that's almost an exact mirror of what we saw before. Actually, to be honest, I believe that you win took that better by point by one point one percent because I think YGB okay. had eighty six percent of their bonus post tank. So that is about an even swap, I would say, slight in favor of you win. But one thing to note, Nal, is that you win did make map one and two. And all and made one survivor on map three. So keep in mind, Ooh. it's going to be a way game point. I think that's going to matter at the end here. Yeah, good point. So we are going to have this first post tank hit. Charger smoker with a spit boom, boom overhead. Not going to find anybody. Ellis bringing it inside. 
Nothing else gonna be since then. They are just gonna be waiting on top of that her shipping go building. Reloading. It looks like they want to go aggressive here, but Zerk is not up for another eight seconds. Charge is gonna send it. He gets baited out. Ewan was ready for the uh, railing jump off there. The spit, death spit, not even gonna be able to block it off. And I think they just gave away the Herschel shipping co hit entirely, unless uh, I, Ewan giving them some time though. Yeah, that the delay from the spawns will allow them to hit over by the car alarm. Maybe if they slow down a little bit. Looks like they're getting a pullback. It's a tri cap with a boomer, but they need to be ready quick here now before they get up top. Smoker's gonna be out of range. And they're gonna go. Oh the hunter skits off the top. Unable to find his target on the bottom. And Ewan looking extremely impressive after the tank has been dealt with now. Yeah, we have seen almost no damage. In fact, I think, what, 0.1% has come out? Hard to get so, damage on the away now. It's not easy. Yeah. And it's not going to get easier here in the last moments of Chapter 1. Jockey, Smoker, Charger, Spitter. It is an ideal setup, but we've seen this before. It's actually surprised us here and there, but it's not the easiest hit to land. YBG continues to back it up. They're not ready to send it yet. They are just going to cash in on this very last chance hit. Yeah, and I, I honestly, no, I don't really see much coming of this. I mean, unless everything kind of straddles our, can, our tunnel vision is one survivor, I think that's the only chance they get damage. And it's not easy to get spawns over here, especially with this charger having to walk in over the infected ladder on this bus. We'll see what happens. They walk it up. Okay, with the spawns in, they immediately turn around. Okay, charge spit. Nice. Gonna be able to find headways into the chapter finally. In the last moments, they lock in a good five percenter. Yeah, let's see what that point total will be once they get into the safe room. They will walk in with 1124. That's a little bit more than... Um, uh, YGB got into now. They walked in with 1,058 on their home server, so they won that by a little bit more than 70 points or a little less. But that's what right. we're looking at. Right. Here, let me. Uh, Neck and next so far. See if I can pin this message fast. <laughs> I'll be doing the math as we go along, but the quick ready ups coming out. Smoker Hunter with the spit boom. Anyone know where we oh, are? I missed that hit. I'm trying to get these scores up for everybody. Oh, but... <laughs> you are. You're good. No hit coming out yet. Hopefully, I got a mod that can pin that while I focus yeah, on the I game. Thank you very much, but that's what we're looking at. And the hunter will get. Oh, he eventually finds a target, but he failed a few times. Oh, the spit spread. Oh, no. Sushi getting diced up. And served <laughs> loses about 40 <laughs> HP now. Wow, what an opening hit from you in. Delicious. And now, now, now uh, one thing quick, to, quick to note here, now is that yeah. remember, and you went to way game. They did walk in with 158 points. Okay. On on the map one, so so in order to match that, they need to get about 200 points to stay even. Just in my opinion right. here. Just to throw that out there quick before next spawns come up now. And we do have the spawns out. They're sending in Hunter. Don't tell me water. Everything gets cleaned up. Whoopsie. Watch out. Reloading. It don't happen very often, although it's funny when it does. The Hunter decides to try to uh, swim with the fishes. Doesn't work out very well. Ends up dying, and that is another attack dealt with. And due to that hit not doing much, that makes the first two hit average pretty good for YGB right now, though. Shoot for the moon, land amongst the stars, not always the case. Charge comes out, Hunter gonna follow up as well. Charge did manage to land into the wall, triple boom, and they will get some damage in. I don't think you realize how close that rock was to hitting Coach. I did not even, yeah. You're not even no. paying attention to no. it, it literally had next to him. And actually, to be honest, it probably would have been a bad rock to land because he would almost be down by 20% frustration right now. There is a downside to landing that early rock, and that's what it does yeah. to you. You lose the frustration immediately. Your grace period is over 
Right. So it might sound great to get damage, but depending on the situation, it might not work as a jockey lands a charger, gets a double charge! The rock will not land, the smoker, I mean the hunter is not cleared, and this is the exact same thing we saw on the other side now. We saw two triple charges come out when they played rock, and they just returned the favor to YGB. Or YBG. Wow. It's the same thing that happened now, I'm telling you. It's mimicked perfectly. That is ridiculous. If those rocks were just a tad more accurate, yeah, yeah. that could have even added more damage into the mix. But what a beautiful play out of UN SIs only. The jockey wasn't even needed. You saw him there ready for the cover, and he got the down on his Oh no! Okay! He tries to bait it out, but the charger follows along with him. Not gonna get the death charger, obviously, but still gonna be able to lock in uh, the, with the wall damage. This sir, this this map needs a remaster. Cause right now, if the survivors stay on top of that big rig, no yeah. common infected can find them. Interesting. It's actually a god spot, which I don't think a lot of the community is aware of right now. But all right, this is the Antextral's commit now. What is he able to do here? See if he does better than what happened on the other side. He doesn't want to let the survivors have a bunch of bonus, but he is in. He's going to probably go for the hittable. He is already down to 3,000. He's ignoring the hittable. This is interesting. They are holding S-Key. He is on top of the bus. They are all backing up. He gets his first punch at 2,200. Oh, the double cap comes out. It's going to be good damage and all, but it looks like they're going to survive. Maybe not, actually. It's going to be a wipe. They're gonna wipe out! That was certainly not what I was expecting there. I have no idea how they're able to convert that into a wipe. Of course, the jockey... Uh, oh, it's clear! So oh, <laughs> never car, mind. Uh, but, uh, it was, I mean... You've got the jockey on 120 HP. We actually saw one of the survivors turn for a while away from the tank to try to shoot that jockey. They had already been softened up, but once it got in, the panic set in. The job was not finished on that jockey. The target was not prioritized, and he was able to wrap around. And with that, they finished the job. I was not expecting that out of UN at all, but they lock it down, and that's scary. Yes, it is. It is very scary, to be honest with you. That is a massive amount of points cut in already. Exactly. It's almost 50% now. It's a little bit less. They've already broken into it after one chapter. They we are going to see the hit out of the safe room. Jockey Hunter Boomer Spitter. Jockey, jockey. Going to send in the Jockey Hunter first. And then they got the Boom Spit next. Spit can't hide after the shot. Which means they're not going to have a Spitter here for the choke point. No, and I don't think that's what you want. I think you definitely want a Spitter for this choke point. No, we, I was talking about this the early, the first time around. Uh, yeah. Actually, um, Ewan kept their safe room Reloading. hit for that choke point. And believe it or not, wow. YGB skeeted the hunter, shut down the jockey, charger missed, and the spit got nothing. So it, wor wow. it didn't work out for them. But let's see what happens here. I think we're going to see an attack on the transition inside. Are they going to send it right now? It's a quad try now. It's going to be hard to land it, and nothing's really going to come of it. Just a couple dinks, dinks in here and there as two-hit average just comes out to 2% right now. I respect the sin there, um, but like you said, it didn't really work out. They still got 96% left. Just a, a points update, um, 1287 is what that differential, that point differential has been knocked down to after Oof. that first chapter. It's a rough start for YBG, man. They need to really bounce back from this and get a wipe here, which is very difficult to do now in your away game. But if right. you can manage to scrounge in a, a wipe on a, somebody else's home server, it would be monstrous for them. De nada, amigo. I won't type it in chat, though, but <laughs> you'll probably watch it later, like they always do. Very common for the entire team, actually, to go back and watch the cast after it's over, whether they win or lose. It's very common for the community to do so. And thanks to them as well. Not only players, they are viewers as well. No. Right. All right, this is a big tank coming in here. Berserk, he has a hittable in place. No, why don't you take his tank when he rolls away with the strike app? Okay, Hunter Charger Smoker. Going to 
be walking it forward. Hittable in an awkward spot. Charger's already dead. Smoker Tongue will be knocked away. An awkward rock. Zerk is stranded with 2k HP left. He throws up another rock. Gonna be dodged over by the tree. Nice thinking by Rochelle. And they are going to walk away with 94% left. A no-hitter. Yeah, I mean, the hunter actually cucks the uh, tank there by pouncing the pull target, not letting him be pulled down into the tank's range. Mm. So they lose everything there, and like you said, that is zero points for a tank, and they're even able to navigate through the gas station. And YGB is in big danger right now, Nal, of having almost all these points caught up on just two maps if they can't perform any more on this chapter. Charge. Ooh, not gonna work. I like the area that they send it in. Uh, they obviously don't get that monumental choke point, but they trade in for this other one, and it was a decent attempt, but they come up short on damage again. 1.1%. We've got Axon still there as a smoker. Gonna have the spawns back up. This time it is going to be the Smoker Hunter Boomer Charger inside the cubicles. Again, not going to have a spit here for the stairwell hit. And uh, it just doesn't seem like YPG has the tools for what they need. They send it in in the cubicle. Triple boom will be landed, but cappers will not. Yeah, there's nothing really here, Nod. It really sucks not having the spit in this scenario. As Rake is calling the go-go for his team, they want to get through the stairwell, get through these the electrical rooms and probably take the next set of stairs before spawns are even up and it looks like they're going to be able to do it they're coming around the corner charger has an opportunity now he's not even ready for it and they get through the entire building yeah with only that one hit and you win right now is setting the tone for a massive comeback as the charger lands in the back the smoker the spitter was not ready for the call Zerk was not in position, and it's just going to be dinks and danks of damage again and all. And they still have 90% of their points. Only 40% of the map left to navigate. I mean, missing one stairwell choke, sure, but both of them for nothing. That is crazy. You win is making a demonic pace on their survivor side so far. Charger Hunter Spit Boom a 2-2 for YBG. It just doesn't seem like they ever really have what they want. If they don't land the charge, they will get Hunt Spit. A nice spread as well. Uh, and it does it does bring them down a bit. Getting closer to 80% to 90 at this point. But 1277 bonus MK. That's a lot! Yes, it is, and YGB had 24.62 after two maps, <coughs> and right now, <coughs> with just the distance alone, they're going to be at 1,800. Pardon me, Mike. Coughing. Came out of nowhere, but either way, they're in the alley now. Car alarm is probably not going to become a threat at all. It, due to the spawns they have, it's going to be a quad try. They need to go now. They're losing the chance. Here it goes, the Charger lost his chance, he loses his spawn, he finds a capper in there, it's gonna be a two cap, oh it's a rolling two cap, the damage is big now, and this is what they needed, double digit percentage coming out, the only thing bad of that is that the Charger died at the end and they're not gonna have a Charger or a Smoker, they're gonna have a 2-2 two -two with the Jockey Hunter for their last hit, if they even get a chance to send it in. Exactly, I mean, Yuen has been so quick through here. They've only got one player limping. He popped his pills. He's keeping it moving through. Spit Boomer in. Boom, immediately pop. They're not going to have anything, and they walk it in, lock it up. One hit, that one hit is all they're going to get. 1740 points in that one chapter alone, and Yuen is trying to finish the game early here. You're telling me there are plus 400 right now as far as home server, and on away server they're probably plus an additional 600. So they are plus a thousand without even them going yet, in my opinion, now. And if they wipe out at this tank, I think they will already have the lead after just two maps. The scoreline, especially pre-Chapter 4, scoreline for YBG was looking very impressive on their home server, but 
on their way. It has just been a different story here so far. I'm interested to see what you and Sax for. Uh, on the previous match we casted, it was the choice between the jockey or the hunter. They presented this option again. YBG took Spitter as who they didn't want in. This time it's going to be Hunter and Spitter. They even land the jockey inside the spit. It's going to be a great hit out of you win. And they set up their sack perfectly. Should be charge, smoke, hunt, spit. Exactly. And they're not going to be able to push the issue of getting through this gas station before spawns are up due to the fact that the hunter spit did land and the boomer as well. Can't really rush on away. Charger is up. Hunter is up. Uh, Smoker is up. And the spitter as well. The charger is going to even pre spawn to stop the rush. Make sure everybody waits their turn as the smoker is pre spawned on the inside. They're trying to wall bang it, but I don't believe that's wall bangable there. I'm pretty confident it's not. That he nope. is safe. No, no, no. I might have to test that theory maybe in a offline, see if you can pull that yeah. pick through that wall. I'm curious if they can. If you can, it's not a great spot to be for that smoker, but nonetheless, YGB or YBG has quite a scenario to take here. Can they take it clean now? Or are they going to shut down? Oh! He missed the skeet! It's going to be big damage now. Smoke is still hanging out, ready to extend the combo even further. Oh man, the damage. Ah, gonna be a nasty, nasty hit out of UN. It's textbook play out of them. They get the perfect setup. Everything going exactly according to plan. Out of the frying pan, into the fire is YBG as the tank is in. Gonna be in the hands of Reg. And uh, looks like the jockey wants to get some action here, too. Rag is just chasing them down. And, okay, they're not going to get... Okay, the hunter to stand up. Will it just be locking in a rock? Not quite. Okay. Interesting attempt out of UN. That one will be one of the few things that doesn't really go in their favor. Everything else has just been completely in their favor and we see and we see you win going for more hittables and i like this i felt like okay why let's hit all yeah so we got two dumpsters we got a car now that one dumpster is going into a different campaign uh but we got a dumpster we got a car still the boom comes in for two and the oh. dumpster's in an interesting spot so do we just send it like this? It certainly looks like it on the away server for YBG, and they've got the double boom on them, desperately trying to clear out the commons. But the tank just walks up, gonna get smoke target here, gonna find Nick in the corner. Down goes Sushi after two hits, 4,000 HP left. Charger spawns in, trying to climb up, trying to be a nuisance in general, uh, but not gonna be able to get in there. Nice jump smack, and the jockey landing to get the separation as well while they go for the pickup on Sushi. Rochelle has popped her pills, she's bleeding out, they're eventually, and this is the second time we've seen that jockey wraparound on the tank, so nasty out of UN, 1,300 health left on Reg, Hunter into the rock, it will be a little bit late, they'll be able to deal with that, but still, so many downs, the bonus already down to 18%, rocks continuing to come out, uh, but already an incredible work by Reg. Gonna have Boom, Smoke, the Boom is ready. Boom, only gonna land on one, but still gonna have the CIs coming in once again. Look at all of them. Charge, Smoke, Smoke into the rock. Nice, Keo. Gonna continue to get knocked down. He has to pop his pills again. Rock through the dome once again. It's a nightmare that never ends. And Reg. 600 HP is going to be playing it slow, chill, letting the survivors make the initial move. But he's got them right where they want him. Jockey on the head, gonna bring him back into the safe room. They will be able to get the clear. Rock barely missing like a meteor. Uh, and there is, there has certainly been a meteor shower here in chapter two so far. It's got 232 HP left. The scratch to bring Gal down. And uh, a rock, a long range rock, double boom, once again, MK. This is an ex okay, the tank goes AI, but wow, with the CIs continuing to wrap around, YBG can't catch a break here. 
Yeah, they can't catch nothing, to be honest. They're going to be able to... Uh, the spawns are trying to cut off the back two. The Charger decides to change his mind. But YBG has a lot of crawling to do here and all with no pills and a black and white cow. It looks like the end is going to be near for them. <clears throat> Reloading. I don't know. It's going to be very difficult to take this choke point and they're just going to pick on the guy who's black and white and solidify the death. Jockey too. I think that's the second time that Zerk has been jocked and wrapped around in a vehicle. They've got... Got to pick him up. Survive. SIs are dead for the time being, but MK, they're not even getting distance back yet. This is all just tank uh, run back distance. So YBG trying to crawl across the line and get a couple points, single digits worth of points brought in at this point. Yeah, I mean, they have to deal with a 2-2, which is probably the one beneficial thing for them right now is that they can't get tri cast but they can get multi-charged! But they're not going to let it happen. They'll get the 10 damage, they'll get the yin cap onto Sushi. And Sushi as well will now be black and white. Making Exxon the only one with permanent HP and the only points for YBG. That is crazy, the scoreline that we are looking at. Oh, oh man, the 25er as well. From 30 to 3 HP, just like that. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> he gets a little scratch. <laughs> Not even going to go for the next snap. Just going to scratch him out. And uh, they will start adding up points. They've gone up to 157 at this point. Uh, so YBG's hard work does pay off with something. Uh, but it's peanuts when they need caviar at this point. Uh, Jockey trying to get in. M2 to way. They live to fight another day. Hunter. The one scratch is all it's going to take. They keep jumping oh, the man. They keep going down. One more time. Hey, there it is. Pistol. Okay. Clears out. Two survivors left. It, we're literally just seconds away, and I, I, it would be really no funny. Problem, I would laugh my butt off if they don't even focus Coach here and just try to kill the black and white survivor and let Coach go for a little bit. <laughs> it, would, it would just be funny to me. And it looks like they do not want to do that. They said they're going to wipe it up. There it is. And that will be YGB falling on map two as well in their away game. Only putting up 314 points for two maps. And now, nah, win has the lead by, I believe, about 300 now. Yeah, nice math there. UN has the lead by 278 to be exact right now with two chapters left to go on their home server. Ewan is in control, and I don't see a scenario where they can bounce back. I certainly don't either. We'll see if they can. Uh, but it's not exactly unexpected. Ewan, you know, getting second place in, uh, in RBT7. Here they are with most of that roster here today. BDK, Axtural, Hikaru. Uh, just missing Noro, having Greg instead. But still... Uh, it's not particularly surprising to me, but still, we got to think back to YBG's home server. I mean, they had a... It was convincing enough to me, uh, but on their away server, they're just looking unprepared. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really easy to say that they're unprepared because I've... Uh... I played on this away game before, uh, no, and let me tell you something, it is something not to be desired. I, pl I played at 378 ping before when I was scrimming uh, of with my team before Hikori, and let me tell you, that is, uh, you shoot the zombie and it don't die. <laughs> let me tell you that. Yeah, not, not the best choice of adjectives, for sure, but it's looked very, we'll say it's looked extremely convincing for you, and so I respect it to the people that play on 200 ping on a consistent basis. It's actually a lot easier, yeah. but nonetheless, here we go live now. Take it 81% commanding lead for you in two chapters left. Beautiful skates. It down they go. Spit will be avoided. 0.4%. All they're and a little single boom is all they're going to be able to find. 0.4 to be exact, and it's not from the SI. It's either, it's, either, it, it's either common damage or friendly fire, one or the other. All right. 
And I bet you it's probably friendly fire. <laughs> it's probably not common damage. But they push it forward. They're getting out quickly into the uh, the water tank room. Reloading. And they are through. Oh, quad. Death charge as well. I don't know, yeah. now. They need to wipe them. They need more than a death charge. Yeah. That could be a great way to start a wipe, though. Um, it does look like the charge wants it. The smoker goes for the setup on the side. Letting Axtral have the run of things so far. We saw how affected that Hunter running interference on the survivor that's supposed to clear was. They spawn it in. Smoke Tongue not going to be effective. Jockey gets dealt with everything. Immediately laser down. They get 0, 0.0 Reloading. for that hit. Very clean. Very, very clean. It looks like they were they were focusing the depth charge more than anything there, though. No, they weren't just trying to hit. As you see, the jockey get in the corner with the survivor. The charger tried to land on its head. Unfortunately, I believe it got deleted before it touched the ground yeah. from the survivors focusing him down. 2-2 Two -two incoming. Pull misses. Charger tries for the depth pull or the depth charge. The smoker missed, though. I don't know if he would have gotten it either way, but good attempt, but no damage again. Three attacks in. Less than 1%. Uh, to me, it seems like at this point, YBG is saying, you know, we're no longer confident with being able to take traditional routes to beat UN at this point. Have it being in a point deficit on the away server. Let's try to lock in the quad, or lock in the uh, instant kill however we can, and as well, try to find a quad. Go for the Hail Marys to end the game as it stands. And that's what we're going to see right here is the quad. Hunter is up. He's already gotten chipped down to 170. Make it 130. Make it 109. And 97. Yeah, going to be the easiest to their life there by the time he comes in. Jockey, charge, double charge. And, uh, the, yeah, it's just, it, I, I, I like the strategization from YBG at this point. But it's going to be very difficult to catch you in off guard with it. Yeah, I mean, they are pretty much untouched right now. I mean, technically, they are 70% of the way through the map now, and they still have a perfect bonus above that 90.9. .9. And a pretty impressive separation from that number, too. Almost 3%, a little bit more than... No, almost 3% even, to be honest. That's just kind of yeah. crazy. It's a lot. They still have to reckon with the tank, of course. I mean, look at the clears. I, they send it there. I think they just wanted to send another quad before the tank comes in. Um, so they just go ahead and send it. But obviously, UN is like, yeah, that's perfect for us. We're out here wide in the open. Not many angles to attack from. And they get cleaned up real quick. Walk it up and over into the house. They don't have the quad. It's going to be a boom joining them. And the tank is in. So not exactly on point with that call. Um, as far as my prediction of what they're going to do, but Axon going to be the tank, double boo, smoker jockey. He is in though, no hesitation, wow. he's pushing them back, Rochelle's kind of caught in the situation though, Rochelle's going to be able to follow though, the smoker misses, Rochelle gets punched, oh no, he gets out of the corner, no he doesn't, he gets the corner, misses the punch though, the smoker went early, and it looks like they're not going to be able to get the wipe here. He's going to get an in cap, and that'll be it. I think that Smoker just pulled before the Hunter was even spawned. Now they could have pulled it off, but you win will survive one in cap. And remember, they had 93% bonus when this tank started, and they're going to walk away probably with about 80, a little less maybe, 74 to be exact. Honestly, I thought that was a really respectable like tank. Right he now. finds the in cap. Uh, it's it, yeah, it's late in the chapter, but they hadn't gotten much work done before that. So, I thought it was a respectable tank, but obviously they 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 need more than respectable yeah, at this sure point with how much in the hole they are. Charge, gonna try to catch Nicholas off guard. Not quite. Spit on the top of the stairwell, but coach, you good? Okay. Yeah, there's actually an invisible wall there for the survivors not to be able to take the shortcut. So you can just dip from window to window and strafe jump right. through. And yeah, it doesn't let you do that. I think it's good for the game. You don't want people to take shortcuts. I don't know if it's part of the map, but good job by the developer or the zone mod team. 
Last chance hit for YBG. Hunter, Charger. Oh, man. Dead stop. Reloading. Chip level, etc., etc. And it's going to be uh, 1566 points for you in that they walk into the safe room. Oh, man. 4,428 points. My goodness. And that I'm, is I, crazy. And I'm already looking to see what the uh, delta would be. Oh, the pin message went away. What? Huh. Interesting. They've already beaten you, um, YGB score for three maps when YGB did four. Ah, uh, yeah. See that? They'll get the pound yeah. spit. Oh, they're going to bully him, too. He gets out. Actually, he doesn't take as much as I thought he would, but all the survivors take damage nonetheless. 93, 95, 93, and 72. Followed by a friendly fire shot that didn't register, but that's fine. But yeah, look Don't at that. 4,380 is what YGB got for four maps. Right. And Ewan got over 4,000. Already. Crazy. Hunter, Charger, Smoker, Spitter, Death Charge potential. I'm reloading. Also, just generally high damage potential as well, if that's what Ewan wants to go for. I wonder if they go for death or they go for damage. I mean... Death or damage. Either way, it's D&D. &D, whatever they want to yeah, choose. Yeah, right. Death or damage, what's the choice that they go for? It's like... I thought it was damage, yeah, looking like damage, but actually it's going to be neither. Neither death nor death. Actually, their death is what it's going to be. Yeah, the spit miss. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, he oh, got stuck! <laughs> going for the death after all, but not today. Here you guys go, here are the points. Thank you, Catboy. Ryu. He makes it very clear that he wants to be called Ryu. <laughs> Not Ro. Ryu. Oh, Uber lands. Retreat. Uh, retreats for a little bit. Jockey and Hunter go in. Oh, almost laid the DEP there and all. Distracted by the jockey, but not going to come out. They'll get a pound spit for the trouble. Spitter tries to hold for some reason. No quad attempt. And BDK will stay alive. Oh, shit. Emma, watch out. Okay, they did, they've actually had a pretty impressive showing so far. Um, they've kept the damage pretty minimal. They've made it through over half the chapter with 85.6% of the bo percent of the bonus left. If, uh, if, if chapter 1 and 2 could have been reined in a bit more, this would be an example of uh, a great performance by YBG. We'll see if they lock it in. Smoke, spit. No. Charge. Ah, they will get the double. Two smackdowns, and there's a nice little ten percent hit. And the event door is open. I mean, all uh, all considering now, I mean, if you look at their health bonus, they still do have seventy three percent. It's not terrible for where they're at on the map on yeah. an away game. Right. It's gonna come down to that tank though. It's gonna say everything, and not only that, but they have the event horde to stop here. Another event to start up ahead yet. And Reich is calling for the go-go. Smoker gets cucked by the boomer with a stumble. Here comes the DP. And uh, the hunter gets stuck on something and decides to change. Oh, wait a minute. Here he goes. I don't know what he's doing. No, he's just... Oh, he gets it. Here it is. The 25. Ooh. Goes out. The wait was worth it. He lands it. And actually, that <laughs> drops the bonus all the way down to the lower 60s. Yeah. It's going to be a big hit. And uh, Suchi pops his pills, but no, we got the DC. Okay, okay, no, I guess we're fine. Uh, but YBG, Sushi pops his pills and Kiao doesn't. Double boom. They had to wait out the event. Straight to the hit. Smoker. The jockey still finds a way to land and two charge smacks as well. Even when it doesn't hit. It hits. 
Big damage. Yeah, he was right. He got 45 damage with that smoker. That is so much oh, damage nice. with the smoker. They need to get this tank up, and they're hesitating. Zerk is separated from his team right now. If the hunter capitalizes on the separation, they're not going to. And it looks like they're going to be able to retreat and fight this tank back in safety. Or somewhat of safety. Oh, it's not looking good now. Uh, not quite. They can't go out there. They're stuck in the playground. And it's going to be Hikaru. It's going to be Hikaru's playground here. He gets a smack. Trying to drop down on him for some more. Yep. Boom's not done yet. Yep. Going to be able to finish off Sushi. We got a Jockey Hunter. Got one second left on Reg to get back in. Hunter's hopping around, having a good time. Zerk is cornered. 2,800 health left. And this is certainly, certainly, certainly going to be the wide coach. Getting caught on a hit and run by the tank. Charge. Just being a nuisance. Coach is literally just having a good time. And he will get finished off there. Not quite. There it is. Just going to have Kiao left. And it's going to be a very open and shut tank there. And another 1,000 point plus advantage per chapter by UN. Yes, it is going to be a wipeout. And that's going to be probably out of reach now, no. would tend to agree. Yeah, it's going to be a GG, but still one more map left to go. And let me tell you, it was a crazy first game watching um, YBG try to put up as much points as they can. They did a great job on map one, a great job on map two, a great job on map three even as well. Map four, they got wiped out. But it just came down to you win on the away game now. They just put up, they kept making safe rooms. And when they died on map three and one of them made it, and literally they died at the safe room. They got so close to it, and that's just the turning effect here. As right. Kyo and YBG is just unable to survive these tanks on the away game. Yeah, I mean, dude, it was looking so exciting on chapter one. It was like, oh, they're going to survive this tank. They're going to have a bunch left. YPG, the underdogs here, are going to be able to fight against the UN, but it somehow turned against them. Uh, that Jockey and some of the other stuff just really turning the tide on Chapter 1 has just been downhill since. YBG has not been able to reverse the curse here, and uh, we're out with uh, no more room left to go. We are just waiting for YBG to ready up on their infected side. Each, each team gets to play one more chapter. This is the eighth chapter of this match. You win is definitely going to walk away with a W, considering YGB only had a 2,800-point delta. And if you do the math without even adding the points, there's already enough to, to do right there, Naw. <laughs> you don't even need it to do the points. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm oh, look at how safe he is. He's so close. Woo! Rake in the corner and even knows it. He shoots the, he shoots the line of safety. To let his team know, hey, look, I'm safe here. <laughs> Less than a percent comes out. Kale will have the tank. A long way to navigate through this map now. A lot of close quarters hits. Yeah, we go to another stairwell. They're not going to have to spit for this. The smoke pullback. But they've got the other survivor ready for the clear on that. Charge, surprise, out of the corner. Just going to be stumble. Two smacks. So they will continue to make a little bit of headway onto UN. UN continues to wrap around the stairwell, double boom onto them. And they keep pressing forward. We got the potential reset areas too here. Something important to keep in mind that I'm sure that both teams will be keeping in mind. Oh, okay. the spitter got cuffed and all. They M2'd him, no spit. Yeah. And the Hunter wasn't ready either to get the right sack order. Gets skeeted through the door. Can't find it. And Ewan still holding on to a perfect score on a very difficult map to hold points. Right. Um, they've done an excellent job at evading uh, chokes, at evading stairwells with the spit. It just has not been happening. It's just been kind of awkward at a YBG. They have landed some damage, but nothing too major. 
Chargers, Jockey, Spitter, Smoker. Are we gonna have to reset? Are we just gonna have damage charger not landed? Smoker trying to pull through into the spit. Not gonna be a whole lot. Just, you know, some hits here and there, the spit to land. Yeah, all the damage seems to be coming from non secures landing, either punches or spitters or boomer slaps. Doesn't seem like no one's able to find a target, even in his close quarters, which is a bit surprising. But it'd be a little bit easier for these chargers to land here now. You know what I mean? Due to the close quarters, but they're about to get the tank with 88% bonus. Crazy. They, oh, the charge! They're gonna try it. I respect it, but not gonna work out. It's gonna be some brief smoke damage, and uh, we got the tank coming in here. Maybe. Where are they going? Oh, I'm not sure where they're going. They. I don't know. They didn't double up on pills. Maybe ammo grab. Got a paddle no, no one grabbed ammo. Only uh, eight gra uh, rake grabbed ammo, I see. Maybe okay. that's what it was for. And to grab all shotguns. Now they have three shotguns now instead of yeah, Uzi's. Yeah, good point. That's probably why they wanted it for the inside, so they could easily shut down the spawns. Have shotguns ready to blast away the SI. As Kyo will have the final tank of the game for his team now. And he has quite a challenge to do. He needs to get negative points on the survivors but I don't know how he could do that so it's probably not going to be able to, to do so but here's his commit he is in through the door he misses his first punch which wasn't even close he gets a punch there he gets a miss a punch there actually he gets another one he's down to 600 already support charger lands gets cleared and the tank is dead when there's still a hunter jumping around and they will survive with just shy of a thousand points and they're still fast with three sets of pills Impressive showing now. Will we see 6,000 points? What we do you think? We certainly could. We certainly could. Uh, especially considering how, like, guaranteed that damage is in here, is in for that tank. Uh, Ewan did an excellent job at their movement, dodging the tank hits. Uh, they immediately mopped up all the SIs with the triple shotgun, like you so uh, noticed. And you know, they're going to be continuing to send stuff out, but nothing's sticking. Ooh! He almost got him now. That was close. He tried it, yeah, I love it. Okay, I cannot believe that you just shot me. Not many twists and turns left now. They only have about two more to go before they have the tall staircase to, to climb. And I don't even know what spawns they would have, but they're gonna send it. A nice rolling two cap in the back. This is actually good damage. It's still not cleaned up yet. And that's gonna cause pills to have to be popped. P points are being lost. And I think we could say that the 6K dream has been removed from possibilities. Math is no longer there. Yeah, at least they can say that. Look at Ewan, though, gunning it straight through. We talked about how important that choke point is, but they let him right through it. Going to be trying a last chance desperation hit, blocking with the spit for a bit. Charge coming from behind. Not going to happen. Going to have the smoker left. Smoking a hunt. They walk it up, lock it in. 764 bonus, almost half the bonus available to them in the chapter, as well as full 700 distance. And what a performance by you and on their home server. As the boat kicks come out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what that tally will be at the end. As soon as they're all in. Rochelle is a little trolling here once that boomer. Yeah. Rochelle is still trolling. Finally gets in. And there is safe room made by you and putting it up at very impressive home chapter score and all. Look at that, 5,892. It's close enough to 6,000. We can just give them a 6,000 for that one. Because <laughs> uh, that is crazy. That many points after four chapters only. Of course, it was on their home server against an away opponent with high ping. So you got to factor that in, of course, of course. But still very beautiful scoreline for them. And uh, Kiao says, time to play serious. Actually, if you want to, just for conversation, actually, never mind, we'll go back, we'll cut back to this a little bit later. Right now, let's finish with YGB survivor side. Oh, the charger gets deleted as well. Okay. Not a bad take. I mean, they still get 5% out of it, but that's from everything but the charger. 
Five percent down. Yep. Nobody's Wait. opened the door yet. Interesting. Now they finally opened the door, and they can progress. <laughs> okay, they walk it up through the stairwell. End of one stairwell is the beginning of a new one on this chapter. Hunter Spitter Boomer Charger as they approach it. Boom. Causing some delays there. But charge. I like it. Whoa! Okay, catch him off guard. They were not ready for that one. And he just right behind the back of Rochelle. She doesn't turn around. She doesn't hear a thing. And they get the straightforward charge onto Zerk. Unfortunately, no spit to follow up in that. But the spit will be covered on the front line. They are pushing through as quickly as they can. They are trying to make it through this part as they separate, which could be problematic. And they're going to take advantage of it. They're going to get the back guy. Hunter will land. Charger stumbles. This damage is still adding up. Down to about 1150 and change. Still going down with a pill pop. Okay. YBG with the drop down, going to be trying to avoid any reset from this high ping. Got two opportunities here for you in. <laughs> okay. You see him go downstairs and yeah, start going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, hold on, am I at the wrong point in our in the chapter here? No. Nope. Ooh, okay, nice. Okay, nice. Yeah. The spit. Oh, and the jockey carry away with all the minutes. Spit. They get the into the wall though. Well done by YPG. Not gonna run through the spit. Just gonna get the clear through the wall. Work smarter, not harder. And uh, they're gonna keep it moving through, doing what they can. Here is that hole in the wall, which they will be able to walk past. But spawn's gonna be up and ready to go for the bathroom reset potential. Yeah, they need to grab ammo. 65%, that's why they're slowing down just a little bit. Spawns can get in position just to get ready. Like you said, a reset possibility could come. Unless they just want to go for damage, but it looks like the Smoker is trying to get the angle on it. Can't get the pull in. Smoker holding in the front. Oh, they get the pull. The Hunter is just going to take him. They're going to get the pound spit. Charger might come and stumble him too. Oh, he's just going to charge him all together and get the in cap. <laughs> so unfortunate. Sushi's sitting there shooting him point blank, right aimed right on top of him with the shotgun. It's just not working out. They try to smoke four down, which they will be able to avoid. No resets here. And they're going to make it up the stairs. 50% of the bonus left as they go to engage. Thank you. Shortly, hopefully, you will be able to dodge the death charge along the way. Ooh. Oh, this jockey! Oh, that would have been big, no. If that jockey latched onto Coach, separated from his team, Exxon would have been in cap for sure. Yeah. But here it comes. They're going to get to tank. Problem is, it's going to cost two of their survivors all their HP, and it's going to cost two sets of pills. One more for the commit, possibly all of them when they commit the tank, maybe. Who knows? All right, with that... It is going to be VDK, not who you want to see on the thing. Whoa, boom, charge, damage coming out still, the smoke, and separation as well. VDK sending that forklift to its death, but he will not be jumping out. He's just going to drop it down. Interesting. YBG running it back at this point. What are they doing here? <clears throat> Walking into a scratch with the jockey trying to get in the mix as well. Ah, oh, Triple boom. Not again. Charge your tank is in. And he's going to be chasing it through the hallways. They drop down for the reset. They're running all the way home. They said, I don't want to play anymore. They're, 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 they're trolling right now. Oh, <laughs> I see what they're doing. <laughs> The charge, catching, and the smoker finishing. And that is going to be our GG. Really, really well played by UN. Locking it in there. They will. What a match. It started great. Unfortunately, it didn't end in the greatest fashion. But that will be <laughs> the UN getting the victory for two maps with a total score of 8,000 points even against wow. YBG's 5,502. GG.